Okay, so this is going to be a real short one. I want to talk about this other piece of code that um, was in this answer. Um, basically, this is, would be used in a web page because when you have a window. And what it would do is this because if you look at MetaMask, MetaMask actually connects to a web page. So if you have a web page and MetaMask is connected to it, you can then um, you can you can then use this to catch the on accounts change. Um, now I'm going to try to set up a demo on this because I think it's interesting because on our web and this is fine because on our web page we're going to have to do something similar to this in terms of getting the current user. Um, let me just see something here. It says try this. Well, oh, okay, that's his note. That's the author. Um, let's see. So this is from um, from someone named GN uh, about six months ago did this so this is pretty up to date and what he's doing is he remember when you're doing the web stuff you have to enable ethereum you have to make the account request so it looks like it's done a little bit differently here um because you're using a different uh api and then why don't we look at this window See if I can find it. So this is from MetaMask. So this is this is good because this will Let's see. So this is deprecated. Um, connect chain is connected. And and um, let's see. So here's, here's the, this is from the MetaMask API. So MetaMask implements the uh, Node.js invent admitter and you have Ethereum on account chain, Ethereum on chain, if you go move to a different blockchain and uh, connect Um, let's see. Let me see something because they, they, this example used Ethereum enabled, which is apparently, what does it say about it? Use Ethereum. Use Ethereum request, ETH request accounts. So, you can see this is a pretty interesting API and again uh, I think we're going to be using this we're going to assume the user of our smart contract app or our D app actually is using um, MetaMask so we're going to take advantage of this um, our latest version this is the whole docs new D app developers 
any blockchains that, that expose the Ethereum ca capable and some examples getting started so again this is the uh, the um, they changed their API looks like at the end of last the beginning of this year and uh, so some of these are legacies so it looks like it's focusing on see is metamask is connected and requests so ethereum to rpc um and You can see request account. So this talks about all the requests you can make. Um, to, to wrap the RPC API. So this cover is um, this is a different API. Uh -huh. Okay, so so this covers, I guess, all of this. So the Ethereum permissions, um, decrypt, encryption public key, wallet scan, QR code. So that's interesting. Um, but that's that's what they use. Like if you see your your um, you know your app on your phone that uh, does that can you know, you're buying it, I guess, I don't know, Binance, Pure, um, Celsius, they all would probably use this because obviously if you can scan a QR code, you're going to have a more accurate, you, you know you're getting the exact uh, wallet ID and that's the big thing, you always have to be careful when you send crypto is uh, that you're sending to the right place <laughs> and uh, always gets me a little nervous I'm always a little nervous until I got where it's going um, anyway so this they have this API where you can get the accounts per, wallet permissions request permissions decrypt but the one where would be interested in request accounts and the other thing we're going to be interested in is this um, account change event right here so anyway hopefully this has been uh, useful uh, I'd introduce you to this um, the MetaMath docs which we are going to be using uh, for our D app and um, uh, if uh, you know, if you enjoyed it, please give a like, please share, uh, please ring the bell, uh, subscribe and all that. Uh, again, I have my, um, my report on Solidity that uh, you can get and I will provide the link in the, uh, in the notes. So take care and I will speak to you next time.